What is up guys, it's Awana Turtle, and today we are doing another Pokemon video. We're going to finish wrapping up or opening our box of GGN, the new Japanese set that just dropped. Uh, it's a pretty cool set, I think Double Blaze was better, I feel like it had a lot more interesting cards. However, there is still some good stuff that we're hoping to pull, uh, primarily the Garchomp Giratina tag team, as well as the Alolan Raichu Raichu combo. Um, I do really like those ideas when they just take the Alolan and then the original and just slap them together for a tag team. Uh, I, yeah, I really like those ones. And uh, just a quick announcement. So I just want to quickly um, show the, so they did uh, release a um, picture of the upcoming basically Legendary Birds triple tag team. So they've already went from tag team, which is two Pokemon, and they're already at the three. Um, so it looks like it doesn't change anything. It's still just a tag team card. It's still three prizes. Um, however, and it does look really cool. Uh, you got all three Legendary Birds. I feel like the art is really nice. I'm curious if this is like the regular GX art and maybe uh, there'll be an alternate art still, which probably be even cooler i feel like they usually are um so for the pokemon itself or the card itself 300 hp so i feel like that's that's higher than all the other g uh, tag teams so far uh, not not the highest but like it's pretty good uh then for four energy the problem is the cost is pretty you know it's very diverse you need all these different energy types excuse me uh but then you have trini bird for two 210 so that's really strong but i feel like to ramp that up would be a little tricky um, and then it's GX attack is interesting it has an interesting mechanic uh, it's kind of like a um, what's the is it Acer roll that brings it back to your hand uh, but legendary uh, sky legend GX shuffle this Pokemon and all its cards attach it back into your deck essentially just throw it back in your deck so that he I'm assuming at that point he has a lot of damage on him and then if you have additional three energy so at that point, it's the same cost as Trinity Burn. Uh, you can do 110 damage to three of your opponent's Pokemon. I feel like that is really strong, especially if they're not running like GX. Actually, uh, I guess the risk of when you GX is uh, your opponent's running, sometimes they might not have that many, just if you're running tag teams. Uh, however, in this case, like if, if they're not, then that's like three, card, three uh, knockouts right there. Um, that can even end matches like right off the bat like maybe you wipe out their entire bench and they're active uh so i feel like this card has some interesting potential we just have to find a efficient way to accelerate it uh so just wanted to update you guys on that and so with all that being said let's get into the remaining ggn packs all right, we got 15 packs of GGN, and I have taken measures to make sure we do not forget to open our, our Burning Shadows pack. And we are still not that good at opening up these packs, despite, despite them having that convenient pull tab. Let's bring this to the front. Still not sure what these guys are called. Uh, let's see, we've got a bird, a magmar, a landris or thunderous, and then some a rotom. Look at this little switch in the background. And, uh, sorry, just one second. Alright, on to pack number two. So, as always, if you guys do enjoy this video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. It does, as always, help us continue to grow the channel and reach new viewers. And let's see, we got a pretty cool Alolan Marowak, a Munchlax. A, what are these guys called again? Oh gosh, it was like Mima or something? Mana? Um, Litwick, then Candela. Uh, Litwick Lampant. Ooh, nice, a full art. All right, so this was a good box in that we did get a gold um, trainer and a full art where our last couple boxes only came with a full art. And this is the Mawile. This is a nice close-up view of Mawile. It's, oh, Mawile is a very weird one, and I uh, can't say I ever took the time to look at what's going on. Uh, very happy with this pull. I don't think the Mawile was that good, but uh, I feel like it's different. Like We're getting to see some different kind of GXs thrown into the mix. Alright, let's keep going. 
Sorry, I'll probably start picking up the pace as far as most of the other cards uh, we've seen multiple times at this point. All right, stage two. So this is the um, Uz Uzifant. Uh, it's not Starly Pit of Cubone Pikachu, like that art, and then some kind of stamper. <laughs> Oof. Sometimes I feel like I'm going to damage the cards. Alright, this is the Medicham. Gabite. This is the Landris or Thunderous. <laughs> Whatever, that's both of them. Ooh, nice. Okay, we're getting a lot of good hits in this opening. Here's the Giratina Garchomp. I feel like that art is kind of weird. They're kind of just flying together, but... I think it's a pretty cool card. I like the idea that they're throwing in more uh, cards with that use different energy types. And I feel like those aren't that good, however, or I guess it's because they're the dragon types. The dragon types usually have that. But um, I feel like, you know, it could add some more variety or add, it adds a challenge to deck building where like, oh, these guys are really strong, but we have to figure out a way how to get the appropriate energies on there. So I feel like it's a cool deck building exercise. All right, let's see, we got a Riolu. The P Dub again, the Carablast, and then a Black Belt. I believe Black Belt was the uh, secret rare we got. All right, like that Marowak, like that Pikachu, um, Hexer, Fraxu, Axu, <laughs> um, Barbabel, and then ooh, just a regular Giratina. Giratina right now is in uh, Pokemon Go, and it's kind of like just like a different form. But all it looks like it just has his <laughs> legs up in the air. All right, let's see. We got the Magmar, the Stunfisk. Such a troll, such a troll guy. So it's electric type that has a fighting attack, and it's just like this weird fish. <laughs> and yeah, we got this stamp again. All right, so let's see what else is going on. Unbroken Bonds is just around the corner. Every day we're getting closer. Really excited. Got that Mana card again. Cubone, um, Lampent, and then ooh, Kangaskhan. And look in the background. Look who's that? We got the Raichus back there. I feel like they've been doing that a lot. Where the with cards within the same set, they have the card, and then it's almost like referencing another card in the background. Kind of like um, I feel like a old example was like beware and um the whismur see here we go again here's a uh, lucario with the garchomp and giratina in the background we got the pikachu again got bite uh Pidove goes to can't remember and then a latias All right, so this is the Axu, Meditate, the Landris, and then, ooh, this is the Chandelure. I am a fan of this card. Uh, I think it's flip over six cards from your deck, and every Pokemon in there, or I can't remember if it needs to be basic or not, but I think it's every Pokemon does like 50 damage. So, um, and it only needs one energy to do that attack, so potentially, if you could get Litwick, and then, ooh, Magmortar, and then you Rare Candy it, uh, and then one energy, and then boom, you can knock out a, like a tag team card with the right draw. Uh, however, I manage, I imagine that's kind of hard to reproduce. Although I guess if you have like a lot of cards that can bring stuff from your uh, discard back to your deck, it could make it a little bit easier. We got a Cubone. What is this? What is going on there? <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> we got another view of Mawile. Yeah, Mawile's just... Uh, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool... That, that one, um... You know, like the... The anchor, the swords, the keys... A lot of Pokemon are just weird, but that one is pretty creative. Not really sure what is going on, but I like it. And yeah, we have a bunch of them. 
Ooh, this guy looks like some kind of ninja. Munchlax, Riolu, a Litwick, and then Zygarde. I believe that Zygarde, it's interesting mechanic where it's kind of like wishy-washy, I think it was, where the little Zygarde will, can help power up the big Zygarde. And I feel like all the big Zygards have never been that good, but I'd be curious to see if there's any, there's enough support to make it like a viable strategy. The Drift Bloom, and then, ooh, we have the Garchomp. So we got both the Giratina, we got the Garchomp, and we got the Giratina Garchomp together. So we got all of them. All right, let's get into our last pack for the box. Uh, overall, um, at least compared after after the high of Dev Double Blaze, um, this one is not as good. Uh, however, I wonder if it's a thing where like they start small, because I think like Double Blaze has like Night Unison, then Full Metal Wall, and then Double Blaze. Or I'm referring to Unbroken Bonds, excuse me. And if you know that means it's kind of expected for the first set to be a little less epic. Uh, just so that at least for the and the English side things kind of ramp up as you get closer So um, pretty good opening overall, but we have one more pack to go into which is the burning shadows pack Let's See if we can't pull anything rainbowy All right, see so we got lightning energy dust clops a cerula uh, any damage kind of back, back to your hand. Yep, that was the ace roll I was talking about. Bodybuilding dumbbells, Wimpod, a Togemaru, Sock, Mudbray, Oddish, a Pantsier Reverse, followed by just a regular rare Ledian. So the hunt for the Charizard continues. And uh, yeah, so again, pretty good sets. Uh, I like Double Blaze better though. And uh, it, this stuff will not be featured in Unbroken Bonds, which I'm actually okay with. So. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support that this channel has received. And I hope everyone has a good day. I'm Awana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.